Kumusta na mga kasiyes-sies? Okay lang ba tayo dyan? Thumbs up nga? Very good! Welcome to my video recorded lesson entitled Operating System Installation. I am your teacher, Jimel R. Dariosa. Enjoy watching and happy learning! Here are the learning objectives for today. Familiarize the minimum requirements of the operating system. Familiarize the installation process of the instrument operating system. Before we start our lesson, let us have first a short recap of what we have discussed last week. On the yellow paper, write down the steps how to create flash drive using a CMD or common prompt. Use a whole sheet of paper for your answers. Are you done? Excellent job! So what is operating system? When we say operating system, it is the primary or the system software of the computer without the operating system. The computer hardware will not function. Here are some of the most important things you must take into consideration when you install an operating system. Number one, check the system requirements. Number two, check the hardware and software compatibility. Next, determine disk partitioning options. Okay, so here are the system requirements for Windows 7. 1 GHz or faster, 32-bit x86 or 64-bit x64 processor, 1 GB RAM or 32-bit or 2 GB RAM or 64-bit processor, 16 GB available hard disk space or 32-bit or 20 GB or 64-bit. Direct X9 graphics device with WTTM 1.0 or higher driver. So those are the system requirements for Windows 7. Next, here are the system requirements for Windows 10. The processor must have 1 GHz or faster processor or system on a chip or so. The RAM with 1 GB or 32-bit or 2 GB or 64-bit. Hard drive space 16 GB for 32 bit operating system and 64 32 GB for 64 bit operating system. Graphics card Direct X9 or later with WDDF 1.0 driver and display 800 by 600. Now let us proceed to the system requirements for Windows Server 2008. Number one component is the processor. So the minimum requirement is 1 GHz for 32-bit processor and 1.4 GHz for 64-bit processor. Next is the memory. Memory, minimum of 512 MB RAM, but the recommended is 2 GB RAM. Next component is the available disk space. Recommended is 40 GB or higher. Note, computers with more than 16 GB of RAM will require more disk space for paging, hibernation, and dump files. For the other components, DVD room drive, Super VGA, or higher resolution for monitors. So those are the system requirements for Windows 2008 server. Now, let us proceed to the operating system installation. I have here videos showing how to install Windows Server 2008 and Windows 7 operating system. Okay, so happy watching!
Okay, so are you done watching? So those are the procedures on how to install Windows 7 operating system and Windows Server 2008 operating system. Okay, so now get your activity sheets and answer the assessment given. You may start now. Are you done? Very good! Okay, to enhance your knowledge on OS installation, kindly revisit my videos provided in this lesson about the OS installation such as the Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008. Okay, I hope you can practice um, OS installation at your home if you have computers or computers such as laptop or desktop. Okay. So, if not, kindly revisit my videos provided in this video recorded lesson on OS installation. Okay, so I that would be all for today. See you on my next video recorded lesson. Thank you for your time. God bless. Paalam.